this mass is offered for the intention of Archdiocese of Hyderabad, Ramantapur, Church Colony Parish, for Father Balaraju Kare FM on his 11th ordination day for his good health and good future, thanking God for all the graces received by Kare Moses, Vijay Mary, Praveen, Maria Rani, Jay Seelan and Sarita and family members. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God. And the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, today in the Gospel, we see Jesus healing a paralytic brought by his friends. We have many characters in this passage. And we shall try to identify ourselves, one or two of these characters, and draw God's message for ourselves. In the Gospel, we have Jesus, his disciples, the paralytic, the crowd, and the scribes. Jesus is highly impressed by the faith shown by the friends of paralytic, and goes on to heal the paralytic, by forgiving his sins. We see in the Bible, before any miracle or healing, Jesus forgives the sins. Because sin is the root cause of all our sickness and all our illness. Sin blocks to receive God's grace and blessings on us. In this Holy Eucharist, let us ask the Lord to give us the grace to be always with God, to be always God's people and by avoiding sins. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chooses to be children of light, grant we pray that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Go prophecy to my people. First reading, a reading from the prophet Amos, chapter 7, verses 10 to 17. In those days, Amaziah, the priest of Bethel sent to Jeroboam, king of Israel, saying, Amos has conspired against you in the midst of the house of Israel. The land is not able to bear all his words. For thus Amos has said, Jeroboam shall die by the sword, and Israel must go into exile away from this land. And Amaziah said to Amos, O seer, go flee away to the land of Judah, and eat bread there, and prophesy there, but never again prophesy at Bethel, for it is the king's sanctuary, and it is a temple of the kingdom. Then Amos answered and said to Amaziah, I was no prophet, nor a prophet's son, but I was a herdsman and a dresser of sycamore frigs. But the Lord told me from following the flock, and the Lord said to me, Go prophesy to my people Israel, now therefore hear the word of the Lord. You say, 
do not prophesy against Israel and do not preach against the house of Isaac. Therefore, thus says the Lord, your wife shall be a prostitute in the city and your sons and your daughters shall fall by the sword and your land shall be divided up with a measuring line. You yourself shall die in an unclean land and Israel shall surely go into exile away from its land. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response shall be, the judgments of the Lord, the judgments of of the Lord, Lord are, true. are true. They are all of them. They are all of them. Just. Just. The law of the Lord is perfect. It revives the soul. The decree of the Lord are steadfast. They give wisdom to the simple. Your response, the judgments of the Lord are true. The, the judgments of the Lord are true. They are. They, they are all of them just. All of them just. The precepts of the Lord are right. They gladden the heart. The command of the Lord is clear. It gives light to the eyes. Your response, the judgments of the Lord are true. The, the judgments of the Lord are true. They are. They are. All of them just. All of them just. The fear of the Lord is pure, abiding forever. The judgments of the Lord are true. They are. All of them just. Your response, the judgments of the Lord are true. The judgments of the Lord are true. They are. They are. All of them just. All of them just. They are more to be desired than gold, than quantities of gold. And sweeter are they than honey, than honey flowing from the comb. Your response, the judgments of the Lord are true. The judgments of the Lord are true. They are. They are. All of them just. All of them just. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 9, verses 1 to 8. At that time, getting into a boat, Jesus crossed over and came to his own city. And behold, Some people brought to him a paralytic lying on a bed. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Take heart, my son, your sins are forgiven. And behold, some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blasphemizing. But Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Why do you think evil in your hearts? For which is easier, to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic, Rise, pick up your bed, and go home. And he rose and went home. When the crowd saw it, they were afraid, and they glorified God, who had given such authority to men. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ today in the gospel of st matthew the scribes said jesus is blaspheming and others praised god for having given such authority to human beings the reaction of men to christ is different astonishing they bring to jesus a paralytic his life is meaningless he is a burden literally to himself and others very unhappy jesus sees some deeper he knows what he is ailing and he says to him your sins are forgiven that is not what they had come for he also shows that that what it is in their minds is that they want a physical healing and that is jesus says that first the sin should be forgiven because sin is the root of all human sickness and illness yes dear brothers and sisters today when jesus said your sins are forgiven humanly speaking a meager consolation for this crippled man to hear that his sins were forgiven but to the believer sin is the root of all human sickness and illness when this root is taken away by forgiveness the whole person is saved also one's body in the gospel the scribes call jesus a blasphemer the official people of institutionalized religion challenge the true message of god on account of so called true religion and we see in the gospel reading today the healing of this paralytic man was seen in different ways by different people but jesus said to the paralytic child have courage your sins are forgiven the scribes among the people they began to murmur among themselves and they believe jesus is blasphemizing and how dare he think that he had power to forgive sins however jesus knew what they were thinking even though they had not spoken a word to him he could read their thoughts and their faces he could clearly sense their disapproval and negativity he confronted them asking them which is good to say your sins are forgiven or rise and walk jesus then turned to the paralytic and said to him rise pick up your stretcher and return home immediately the paralytic stood up picked up his bed and went to his home everyone was filled with the awe and the people began to glorify god who had given such authority to jesus dear brothers and sisters in the gospel if we carefully read one important aspect that we understand is that the bible we see in different passages before healing jesus first forgives their sins because sin blocks god's grace and blessings once the sins are forgiven once the sins are removed then we can receive god's grace and blessings without any hindrance that is what we see in the gospel reading today 
That is why we have in our Catholic Church, before receiving communion, we are told that we need to go for a sacrament of reconciliation, that is confession. Because once we are totally pure and clean, when we receive this communion, the body and blood of Jesus, the grace that we receive through this Eucharist will be fill our body and we receive God's blessings, each one of us. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, we need to reflect and see, is there a critical scribe within us? Do we recognize when our inner scribe gets activated? Do we recognize when we are murmuring? Is our inner scribe quick to judge others? Do we ever criticize even God for what he does or does not do? We need to be mindful of our inner scribe's voice and our tendency to judge and criticize others as well as ourselves. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, we need to be always mindful of our thoughts and criticisms. We have the opportunity to step back, change our way of seeing things, and arrest the, the judgments that we make. If we make a habit of this self-analysis, we will come to realize that we are not judging others as frequently as we used to do. And who knows, we may find that we are more peaceful and more conscious of God's work in our lives and that of others. Today God invites each one of us to have a self-analysis of our thoughts and our criticisms and our judgments. We are called to encourage and to appreciate each one of us. We are not called to judge others or condemn others because God says judgment is mine. We have no right to judge others. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, today in this Holy Eucharist, let us ask the Lord to give us the courage and strength to recognize my inner scribe. Let us recognize our own inner scribe so that we may change to be a better person. Ask the Lord to give us the grace to know ourselves better so that we can live a peaceful life, so that we may know ourselves better. The more we know ourselves better, we can relate with others in a better manner and we live a peaceful life without condemning or judging others. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, as we participate and continue in this Holy Eucharist, let us ask the Lord to give us this grace to be always God's children and to be always God's beloved children, not to judge others, not to condemn others. We love each other as God loved each one of us. Let us pray for the following intentions. For our Pope, bishops, priests, religious, and all leaders, that they may be guided by the Holy Spirit and manifest the compassionate face of God in their words and deeds. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those people who are misunderstood because of the wrong labeling by the society, that they may be able to lead a dignified life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all the hardened sinners, that they may have the willingness to listen to the call of the Lord to repentance and thus be saved. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the people participating in this Holy Eucharist, 
that we may have the willingness to surrender totally to the loving invitation of Jesus for change and thus become his true witnesses in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. O God who graciously accomplish the efforts of your mysteries grant we pray the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of the sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation on always and everywhere to give you thanks for the most holy. Through your beloved son Jesus Christ. Your word through whom you made all things whom you send as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, Anthony Pula, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, found by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
worship you. O oh, Father, I pray for them, that they may be one in us, that the world may believe that you have sent me, says the Lord. Let us pray. Lord our God, often we do not understand what you ask of us in life. Give us a trusting faith, we pray you that we may keep believing in you even when we do not see where you lead us. Give us the faith of Abraham who was willing to sacrifice his son. Give us the faith of a lame man who found fresh courage when his sins were forgiven. Tell us to stand up and walk with the certainty that you love us and want to bring us home to you, who are God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Oh, baby.